Hello subscribers, here is another figure review. This time it's the Schleich 2016, the first giant Dimetrodon figure. Now this was a Schleich figure that got the most backlash because people thought it was a ripoff of the Papo Dimetrodon. Well, for, uh, firstly, I don't have the Papo Dimetrodon yet, but I've seen enough reviews of that figure uh, t to say that this figure is not a ripoff. To me, the more appropriate term would be uh, this figure is inspired or similar to the Papo version. Because, cause, cause as you know, Schleich, Papo, or any company sometimes gets their inspirations from pictures of of other dinosaurs on the internet or just uh, statues. See here? Well, the reason why people think this is similar because of the patterning of the overall colors and the pose. Because both, both uh, figures have their heads uh, like turned this way and are facing upwards. But here, this one has just as much detailing. The detailing is just as impressive. But I prefer the coloration on this one than the Papa one. See, all the the tiny scale sculpted, making it look very realistic. Really like this figure. But proportion-wise, this guy is not that good. See, the hands and feet are a bit oversized, and the tail is really short. Like this figure would have got like. An eight, but I don't think it's getting an eight though. Like I wish the tail at least was longer. And see, it is a, like a little outdated because it's supposed to be like w uh, walking upright with the legs, making it walk more like a big cat. But this one has the outdated reptilian look and pose, like a komodo dragon. And also, the sail is like like the skin is always supposed to be like halfway with the rest of them being exposed uh, spine bone. And and this one also seems to be a little bit more chunkier than the Papa one. And the jaw does move. See, there's a decent amount of detailing inside that mouth, along with the red tongue, along with a lot of prehistoric animal models. The main colors are just like a sandy color with some uh, orange around it, some brown, and then some reddish orange too. And the skull is accurate too. But the overall, like, the skin of the animal is not that accurate. It's supposed to have, like, smooth mammal skin, not, like, reptile skin. Also, explain the differences between this and the, uh, Papo version. To me, the Schleich and Papo Dimetrodon have more differences than the, uh, 2017 Safari Limited and Collected Chronosaurus. Like, there are more differences in this and the Papo Dimetrodon figure than those two figures I mentioned. See, because this one has five toes, which is more anatomically correct. The Papa one only has four toes, so that's something Schleich got, right? And also, it's, the Papa one is in like a standing or sitting pose. This one's in like a walking pose. Also, the sail patterning on the Papa one is not that well done as this one. This one looks better. Also, that this one's made three years after. And also, they have different colors, too. And were made by different companies, obviously. So yeah, I think that's enough differences to say that this figure is not a ripoff at all. Also, that they have different proportions too, except the Papa one has better proportions. And also, the Papa one is like slightly more expensive, like fifteen to twenty dollars. This one retails like twelve ninety nine. I got mine for five dollars, so I didn't want to miss out on that five dollar deal for this. So let's uh, compare it to some other figures now. Here is the. Carnegie one, see this one has better proportion feet and a tail. But I think the um, Schleich one is slightly better than the Carnegie one, mostly because of the detailing on here and then the pose too. So next up is the Xenocan. Xenocan is from the Prehistoric Sharks too, it's far limited. And it's in scale, because Dimension mostly ate these uh, sharks. Next up we have the other uh, first Giants figures, Dilophosaurus, Herrerasaurus, and then Dunkleosaurus. Dunkleosaurus is obviously the best one out here. Like, these are very flawed. This one's not that bad, but this one's excellent. So this guy's still easy to find. You can usually find him below $10. I wouldn't recommend spending $10, above $10 for this guy. So if you see him lower than $10, get him while you can. I said I wasn't going to give this guy an 8, but now that I look on it, it's actually a uh, deserves an 8. The Papa one, I'd probably give a 10, but this one deserves an 8. It's good for what it is. I don't consider it a ripoff. It's mostly inspired by the Papa one. 
So if you like this video, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review.